Okay, now it's working. God, that pisses me off so much. The audio's working. I had a problem, but I fixed it. I figured it out. Yeah, I just had some audio problems that I finally figured out how to fix, but now I have to restart the chapter. I didn't get far. I made a couple choices and then I misheard something in the conversation and went to go back to do it. And then uh, Dominic, Do Do Domi Kronos, uh, Domi Kronos said that I don't have audio. And I was like, oh, that's good to know. So I had to fix that before I did anything else, obviously. It's gonna give you the recap. It's gonna like let, let you know what everything, what happened. Something Once glitched out. Time, but I'm gonna be quiet for the recap. In a wild, wild world. There were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. Ah! And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick, and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors, and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing, too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog. Sorry! <laughs> Hold on! My fucking controller! <sighs> Why are you... Okay, I'm sorry. They had their own adventures. It's a struggle right now, okay? Suddenly, the main farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf. And destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse. He didn't know where the little cub was. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. No, nah, what's your fucking fault, Daniel? <laughs> I went to go get coffee. Wish I'd listened when he tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. It's okay, dude. You're my brother. 
And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Good. Yeah, blame Daniel don't for anything. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. <sighs> Stop! That man's gonna turn into Nick Fury. Who is the Anano that's lost in the States? Super Fuck. Daniel. <laughs> okay. Daniel. I keep having these nightmares since I came out of the coma. Okay, so. He, you know what? I'll just do this. Oh, can't even. Oh, you know what? Page. Fine, I'll read through these. This sucks ass, man. I've already read through them, but to be nice, I'll read through them again. I uh, was in a coma for weeks, blind. Oh, so he just said weeks. I thought he said two weeks. Okay, well, there you go. I uh, was in a coma for weeks, blind and fucked, and police and in police custody, going to jail soon. Hospitals freak me out. Hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. I tried to draw to kill time. This room is like a cage, but I suck now. <laughs> but I suck now! <laughs> uh, no death perception, no art, no shit. Focusing equals immediate migraine. Going crazy in here. Woke up crying. Special secret agent Flores. She's trying to bond with me. Trap me or trust me. So fucked. Why are you... This man didn't learn in school that you need to not make stuttery sentences. <laughs> Cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion, so he's out there alone. <laughs> Excuse me. Happy birthday, Daniel, wherever you are, Inano. Claire and Steven... Steven? I always say Stefan. Claire and Steven sent me a nice letter today. I'm so lonely, I read it twice. Weird how I miss them now. I believe that is his parents. I think that's his parents. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit, too. Glad he's doing fine. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad, so so glad he's around. Wish I could hear a cast play again. All those songs are gone, but not our time together. Yeah, we had sex. Uh, I fucked Daniel up. I let Finn become his, Finn become his brother. And then he just makes fun of the food. He says, yay, sucky reality TV shows. Uh, thanks, Mrs. Flores. Can't wait to text you. Uh, I can't catch shit because he has no depth perception. So when he th throws the ball at the, at the wall, he can't catch it because he's got one eye. Hi, Dipper. <laughs> Uh, I'll read Cassie's letter. I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her. Howdy, city boy. Bet you're surprised to hear from me. I found out we were in the same hospital from the police after we were... Yeah, after we were questioned when I was checked out a month ago, so I took the chance to write and hope you get this. Wish I could say everything I want, but you never know who's reading, right? If anybody else is reading this, fuck you. I truly hope you're okay after what happened. As for me, I don't remember much except the explosion at Merrill's office. Then I woke up in the hospital with blunt trauma, healing, and what the doctors call blast lung injury, hurting. Just glad that I can still play guitar and sing, not that I feel like it. You learn a shitload about medicine stuck in a hospital bed, as I'm sure you know. My sweet compadre is still working on that Espanol. Miss my lessons and my teacher. Oh, I read that totally wrong, but that's fine. You probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah and Penny and I released were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us gutter punks toiling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, but got no answers. Surprise. So with Finn and you gone, our real family is kind of broken up. Now we're just a lonely trio, train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're in a, going in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same, and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. Shit changes, right? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll have a whole new set of blues songs for the road. I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation, and you will get the justice and freedom you deserve. You and Daniel are amazing brothers, and I hope you find your way home soon. I hope we can swim naked under a new moonlight. It's a big world, and maybe we'll meet again someday. I'll always be singing your song. Love and peace, Cassidy. Yeah, we swam naked. <laughs> it's going to be salty. She's not here to watch. Yeah, well. I've been, I've put this off for 
long enough. I can't keep putting it off. <laughs> That's some like Kingdom Hearts shit. That's some anime stuff. Just <laughs> uh, okay, and then I'm gonna draw. And I made the choice before to do prison bars because he literally said that this hospital is like a cage. So I'm gonna keep it real with him. And I'm gonna keep it like a cage. Also, it's so weird to think that, like, if you close one eye, you really are missing a lot. But it doesn't so look like it. It's so hard to focus. Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. He's very angry. I guess that's an okay start. But, anyway, but I, I can keep going. going. Not very far. I haven't even gotten out of this room yet. I played the first, like, five minutes. Because I I played a little bit of it, and I streamed it, but I didn't know my audio was fucked. My audio was not working. And then Dami Kronos over here, the legend, came in and was like, yo, you ain't got no audio. So I had stopped the stream and took a few minutes and then fixed it. Now this room feels like so I haven't gotten far at all. But I'd rather stay here like, than go to Jolina Shore. Monsieur Joey. Come, come. Yeah, I got through the first, like, five minutes. I watched, like, that cutscene, and then I did all this. Joey must hate the sound of this thing. I did, like, the Joey thing, and then that's about it. Also, actually, you know what? I'm not going to say that for... Because I don't know how much I'm going to put the other stream in. I'm probably not going to put any in it. Uh, you'd think... That after doing this, this day feels like every other day. I was talking, just like prison. Yo, yo, what up? Sure. <laughs> what up, guy? Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. I have a feeling Daniel's uh -huh. just roaming. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm. I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that <sighs> smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before, mm, you know, before they check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> You're writing okay, on my sketch. Let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yeah, I did this already. Legend after five minutes. Yeah. Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. He's going to go up, down, right, left. Good, good. Keep also, going. Also, yeah, the reason why you're a legend after five minutes Quick is because response. no one tells nice. me if there's something wrong with my stream. They either come in and then leave, even like the people on, who Sean. normally watch it. You've been there before. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. Yes. Nobody says anything. <laughs> Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. This part I actually I'll could try. not get. I got no once. Rush. This is tough. Your depth Fuck. perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. <sighs> Shit. I think that's it. Hey, get it. good job. Okay. Let's do it again. Mm. Damn. Yo. <laughs> you hit a double today. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. Fuck it! Yeah, that's Damn it! Enough. I wanted three! Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. I didn't get the second one. I only got it once. 
<laughs> just I love the idea of him going, I am a pirate. Well, fuck you, Joey. <laughs> Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I always hated that game. Well, I know it sucks for you, but... <sighs> this time we release you. Sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I just, I like that the the pen thing was like my date with Cassidy, because it's just like I'm just imagining now all you like you hear outside the tent. Fuck. God damn it! I know it's hard sometimes. You gotta just, just focus, line it up. God damn it! <laughs> just you know, I think this is enough. <laughs> Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Thanks, it, de it decreased by 50 fucking percent. Yeah, that's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dressing. Hey, sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. He <sighs> ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Joey, I like your cut, by the way. Sure. This one, nice ass fade. I'll swing by later, Got Sean. Got a nice subtle line. Oh, two lines, okay. Stay cool. Yeah, I barely so, got past this part. How are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I Cheeky. want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison. That's not Lady Gaga. Or you can talk to me. Um, I'm gonna make the same choice as I did before, which was this. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're yes. absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Are you shitting me? That officer freaked out and shot him! In front of me and Daniel! Just guilty of being... Who knows? I hear you, but... You sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no! Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. Nothing. <sighs> I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's a statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. <laughs> Whose idea was it? I love that he just goes, His okay. Fuck. Or yours. <laughs> huh? Okay, I, I, I want to go... I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell as much of the truth as I can. Because if I don't, then she can't help me at, in court at all. She literally can do absolutely nothing for me in court. But if I... And honestly, I did good shit. Like, I didn't go along with the robbery. I didn't actually... Like, I didn't kill the officer or anything. I was good. I have not done anything wrong. If I tell the truth to her, then... I will be safer in court. And it might get me fucked up where it's been. But it was his idea to rip off Meryl. Did he Better force you to help? Or did you go along with it? 
He lied. He lied. I didn't want to help, but he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. No! Until it's too late. <laughs> yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? No! She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. Your friends are learning the hard way. Uh, that's the one that I didn't hear. This is where I restarted. Your friends are learning the hard way. How do you respond to that? Your friends are learning the hard way. Okay, cool. Uh, I mean, Finn kind of deserved it because he's kind of an asshole. And he, like, lied to Daniel and got him to rob a weed farmer with a gun. I'm going to say they didn't deserve it. They didn't deserve it. We all make mistakes. Yeah, well, some mistakes are worse than others. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. Thanks. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Mm. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Okay. So yeah, Sorry, I haven't Finn. been... I haven't done That's any of this. karma for dragging Dana into this shit. You know, fuck, it. fuck Finn. <sighs> she didn't want anything to do with this. Wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. She lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Oh, yeah. Prison would fuck him up. I thought Penny was someone else. Lotus? Yes. Hi. Do you have me to call? Everything okay? Everything okay? Well, well. Now, fuck. You know the rules, Penny. You know the rules. No, honey. No, honey. I told you I was going to be away for a while. I told you I was going to be away for a while. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, okay? You gotta be good. You gotta be good. Okay. She's talking like her son or her no, no, husband or something. Son. Probably her son. Shit, I haven't been listening. She's speaking Spanish. I can't understand Spanish. I do have subtitles on, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, alright. I don't know what TLDR means, but TLDR, her kid's a brat, she missed that. him. Okay. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. Hmm. You lied to me. You have no leads. You have no fucking idea where my brother is. I don't lie, Sean, but you did. And your brother is paying the price. Fuck. You. Damn. I'm done. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. All right, listen, you can't be that mean to the lady. She might help you in court. You can be like, okay, cool, you fucking lied to me, but you can't be directly like, fuck you.
Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. What? Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? Uh, I'm free? I don't mean shit. You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Aw, oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thank you. Thanks, Joey. Wanna tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. Let's see it. The healing is coming along nice. That ain't shit. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Did I Seen miss something the there? shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? I hear you. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I don't know if it's better or worse to I be know. the big wolf or the little wolf. I do, wolf. but I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. What kind of cream though, dude? You can't just put some honey bun cream in that shit. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. What kind of dressing? You, you talking Caesar? You talking ranch? Remember, I don't fucking know what you're talking you gotta about. You got to do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a chip. Oh, shit. Ah, emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Catch you later. It's got the key to the room. No, just kidding. He ain't gonna do that shit. Joey. You are her boss. What was it? Hold on, I want to see the pen first. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Butter. Okay, I'm going to check some of these before I get to that, because I feel like that's going to progress the story. Crap, Steven's leg is better. So much reading! <laughs> we, uh, Sean, we are grateful to find out that you are safe and awake. The police contacted us when you were found unconscious in Humboldt County. We weren't allowed to visit you in the hospital, but we want you to recover ASAP. The doctors say that you woke up from that coma stronger than before. The most... Im stronger than before? Did I gain powers? Uh, the most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police any way we can. They really want to help find him too, Sean. Hopefully this reflects well during your trial. Uh, we know this must be hard for you after everything you and your brother have been through. You've, you're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. Remember, you are, you are family and we love you. We hope to visit you and Jolena Shore as soon as we can. Take Claire, Claire, and Stephen. Stephen, damn it. Don't know if we'll ever come back, Chris. Thank you, that's hmm. less. Nice, that little superhero. Hi, Sean and Daniel. I hope you are okay. I am fine, but I miss you both. But I miss both of you. <laughs> but I miss both of you a lot. When are you coming back? Dad has been better lately. He, he says hello and we're fishing now that summer's here. We do a lot of stuff outside now, and, and you know, I'm going to do a Morty voice. And all the snow is gone. You should come back to Beaver Creek without the snow. I'll be waiting for you. Chris, 
did, Captain Spirit. P.S. We need to save Beaver Creek from Swamp Box. <laughs> Uh, I already read the drawing. I'm gonna look at the drawings. Yep. Or the letter. My art is trash now. But your Kobe skills ain't. I know you didn't get up to throw that shit away. Alright, what'd you put in the towel? More chocolate. What? Wow. Is this old book? I haven't seen you in a long time. Mm. I'll read that in a sec. Oh, I can pick it up? Well, thanks. A memento. <laughs> Where'd you put that, Sean? You got, oh, you got a gown or you got, okay, no, he's got like pants. Expect five, a fine optional collectible. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. You're wearing a gown and normally the only gown Damn. Is, uh... Just want to get out of here. The only thing that you got in your gown is your crack. I better put this on silent. Let's see it. Let's see it. Come on! Boo. Posting links? Dipper, what links did you post? No, move around. Ah, boy. I need to fix my nightbot. It's a little, it's a little over the top. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. Damn it. Oh, and now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told oh. me. That is the, the wrong phrasing for that. Especially after you just made the reference of hooking up with Cassidy, and then you say Daniel hooked up with Claire and Steven. Phrasing. Wait. What's that? Super Wolf. What? Huh? Does that mean... It means that Daniel... Daniel's with Jacob somewhere. He's safe. I could see him again. Huh. I don't remember who Jacob is. <laughs> I don't remember who Jacob is at all. Who the fuck is Jacob? Had a few beers. Daniel's asleep. Same night every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have time and we gotta hide. It's not easy. Sean, I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. We'll give them back to you when you come looking for your Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. Who? Okay, there's Jacob and Jake. Are those two different people? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Oh, I drew that. Hey. Oh, that's the thing. Okay. Oh, yeah, I did draw that. The, you know, that kind of reminds me of, um... Oh, I always forget their name. The the, the band that sings the... <laughs> Gorillas. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that, that kind of... That's what that looks like. Okay, I got it. Can I? Okay. Haven Point. What? Nevada. Oh, Jacob's the one with the glasses. That was all like, I don't know about 
this, Rick? <laughs> uh, he's like a little kid. He lives in... Yeah, okay. No, I remember him now. I gotta get to him. Haven point? I gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. He didn't have glasses? I thought he did. Okay. Time to clear off now. This whole hospital's so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. Hey! Lay down. Lay down. Dixon. Lay down. Come on. Lay down. <laughs> no consent. I did not consent. No. Uh. Oh yeah, we saw these already. Uh, saw that already. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I saw those. That's cool. Excuse me. Lovely. Mm. Oh, hi, sir. Dog looks annoyed. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> He's chewing my pillow. There must be a way to leave this room. <laughs> You're so weird. He was like stomping and like doing this and then he chewed on my pillow. Sorry, I just had a, I have a lot of things going on. Ah. Nada. I post it on my Instagram every time, Sarah. You just gotta keep an eye on it. Okay, uh, should I take this? No, okay. Bed sheets. Can I open this? Just get out here. Boo! <sighs> Need a superhero to open that shit. Or just take out the lock that's right here. Oh, no, you can't. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. And I'm out of here. Okay. It's dead tonight. Works for you me. No, that's not something you should say at a hospital. <laughs> okay. I could climb down the side of the building. Yeah. Or die trying. Well. Okay, that's it. Can I open it more? <sighs> Can't open that window with my bare hands. Just take out the, the. That's a lock right there. Dead ass. Just take it out. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Curtain. Uh. I mean, I'm assuming there's a guard. I don't need to turn that on. Get a good look at this. Let's see. I just gotta get past that locked door. And an angry guard. So, but if I go directly to my left, that's where the scaffolding is. So unless there is, like, someone there, we could just go to that scaffolding and just climb right down. I don't see, I don't see a problem. If we go down the stairs, there's going to be, uh, like, receptionists and probably other nurses and stuff. Like, I don't, I don't see why that would be a good idea. Also, why would I close this? Can I have some privacy, please? What's the point of that? I feel like there's something here that I'm missing. I think I can do with this, right? Maybe I could uh, tie a rope, make a rig rope. a decoy Sean in the bed. Oh, dead ass? Okay. I'm down for that. Go ahead. Who do you? Fake body. Be a G. MacGyver that shit. That's right. Watch it be like really convincing. <sighs> that looks so fake. But it might work Didn't for see. a second. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst. It could be worse. Okay. 
now. Inspect? Is he awake? I wish I could just... walk out. Sweet dreams. He's asleep. My friend. Maybe I can trick him. Ask for medicine. Say I need an aspirin. Or some... I'm... pretty sure the scaffolding leads into this room. Okay. My backpack has got to be somewhere around here. Okay. So, as far as I'm aware, the only way that we're getting out of that... Damn, I feel like I'm missing something. Like, I'm hardcore missing something. Hey! Sir? Hello? Jesus. Can't even take a nap. Okay. What's wrong now? Head hurts. I need aspirin. That's a sad story. But I'm not a pharmacy. I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him out. That's a lot, though. <laughs> You're asking for a lot on that one. <sighs> okay. How would we do that? Maybe... Maybe there's something to do in here. This one isn't screwed in. Are we really gonna do I that right now? I pull it off, but... Yeah, that metal bar isn't going anywhere. Are you actually about to pull that shit? <sighs> Let's do it. Fine. Come on now. Come on now. <clears throat> you a strong boy. Hey, what the hell are you doing in there? Turns off light. Where are you putting that? Turn off the light. Inspect. If I can't do anything now, ambush guard, okay. Hey, hello? I need help, please. What? What's the matter, kid? Huh? My head. It's killing me. I need help. Hold on. You're gonna need help if you're fucking with me. Well... Oh. Ugh. You know, you already killed a cop. Well, you, you didn't kill it, but you're being accused of killing a cop. Was there an easier, was there like a, like a, a better way out of that? Also, I hate how he did not just check his pulse. He wasn't like, oh shit, you good? He was just like, yeah, you good. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that's not suspicious. Really? There were so m there were a lot of ways to get out of it. What the fuck? <laughs> That's Finn. No way. What? No. What is he doing? Don't. Here? Don't. Oh shit. Well, what do you want me to do? Just dead. Just go. I feel like I'm making bad decisions. <laughs> There's three? Okay, well, if two involved hurting someone, then I, I feel less bad. But if only one involved hurting someone, I'd be like, oh, what the hell? There's more than three? Alright, well. God damn it. Fuck! Oh, they're gonna use it on me in court! Fuck! <laughs> Ah, uh, damn it. I didn't kill a cop. You knocked one out in your hospital room. Well, you know, he had it coming. He, he didn't give me aspirin. And, you know, he wasn't the pharmacy that I required, so... 
I figured... I, I kind of figured that maybe if I gave him a headache of his own, then he'd get me aspirin. <laughs> car was that? We just took some dude's car. The only other way that I could see that going is oh you know I just thought of another one. I think the only other thing I could think of was either breaking the window and then knocking him out and or sneaking past him or prying the, the window open with the thing. Guaranteed that's a thing now that I think about it because he was like, I can't do it with my bare hands. But if you took the fucking metal bar and just and did that, that would have went better. Shit. I should have thought of that. That's upsetting. Also, when did you learn how to drive? I did not know that you knew how to drive. Watch this be copywritten. How much you want to bet? Because last time, music was copywritten. It was Cassidy's song. They didn't like that shit. Don't nod. I <laughs> like that shit. Yeah, I figured. Also, I really hope that this is in tune, like as in tune. <laughs> I just imagine he's driving down, so like super quiet, music's playing, and then you just hear, <laughs> and the bus that just came by just like smacks into him. Uh, Life is Strange 2 original music is not subject to copyright. It's only licensed music. Well, I listened to the entirety of Cassidy's song in the flea market, and that shit was copywritten because my stream got muted for that. So. <laughs> but what do I care about copyrighted music? Because I put Billie Eilish in when they were driving to the the, the farm. Well... Didn't he say he was in North Carolina, or is he now in Nevada? And that's why that looks like that, because Nevada would make more sense. This does not. He said in episode one to his papito that he is just unsure of driving. Oh, okay. I mean, if it's like this, then that's fine. But if it's like a windy road in the woods, I wouldn't like that shit. Okay, he's in Nevada. His papito. His weird little papito. Runs into Daniel. You know. <laughs> Just fuck, man. Daniel's like, why? <laughs> why would you? Also, I still don't know if it's good or bad to be the big or the little wolf. I kind of want to know. Runs into Daniel, kills him, roll credits. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not inconspicuous. You know who I want to see again? The, um, I forget his name, but it was the dude who picked us up from the gas station. The dude who was like a writer or something. This is my room for the night. Yeah, well. 
what a mess. <laughs> Flotus can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Yeah, now you've done some shit wrong. Now you're shit. definitely going to jail. Oh, it will never hold until Haven Point. Brody, that's what it was. Yeah, I want to say Brody. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Oh, come on. Did you interview everyone in that hospital? <laughs> or what? This is her car. You're just like, ah, shit. I'll take that. I feel like I might need it later. I trust her to a degree. Yeah, I want to see whose car this is. She's Sorry, I stole your car, guys. Oh. Shit. Guess I fucked up again pretty bad. Drop off kids, hospital checkup, lunch with hubby, Miss Scott's x ray, blood test, pick up kids, 5 o'clock night shift. You're fine. It was at the end of the day, you're fine. How are you looking? Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Where are you right now? He didn't like circle his position, I don't think. I mean, I see where he highlighted, but I'm following the highlight and I don't see anything. So, hmm. Uh. Why do I feel like there's a jump scare? Bonk. Oh, okay, well. What was that? I kind of blanked out for a second. I didn't see what that was. Oh. Yeah, you should probably do that. All right. Careful. I want to see it. Fuck off. I want to see it. it. I mean, honestly, it just kind of looks red. It doesn't look like it's got like some sort of laceration or some shit. It's kind of there. Man. I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. <laughs> Did you mess it up, guy? What'd you do? Good night. It's actually not bad. I've slept in worse. When I was in high school, I used to literally lean down as far down the chair as possible, just cross my arms, and literally fall asleep like this. And just do that. And then my friend would, like, tap me on the shoulder and be like, yeah, he's like, you asleep? It's like, literally just slumped in your chair? I was like, yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. And out of gas. What? Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh... Well. What's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got Ford Hot Wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. No. It's <laughs> kind of sad. When... I'm proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. And I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? No, dad jokes all the way. I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> with your lovely papito. Ah, uh, little papito. <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, I'm Think glad they brought you out for five days without killing each other. Hell yeah! Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre y hijo against the road. <laughs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. 
What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> Going all right. You know. Going okay. I guess. That was like pulling teeth. <laughs> well, I've got a week to find out the truth. Uh try on your stuff. It's over, don't worry. Try out what do you mean try on your I'm uh, I'm put why. It's just I don't get to see her too much. Kind of miss her. Oh, you're hooked, my son. Don't worry. This is how it goes. <laughs> ah, could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah, he's an angel. We went to the swimming pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie night. Yes! Damn, he's so better at getting chicks than uh, Sean is. Don't crash the car. He's driving real slow and safe, like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean? What up, girl? <laughs> Jen says hi. Sounds pretty good, Sean. You think? Maybe. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? It's too bit, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh. By the way, Sean. Hey, Fuck, wait, that wait, actually kind of scared me a little. Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? What? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Look. I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no, you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. Shit, you don't all right, want that shit. boy. Uh, uh <laughs> Um okay. Thought process. If I step out, they're either gonna beat my shit in or take me with them. I'm assuming they know who they are who I am. Based on what he just said of you don't want that. Why would I not? I mean, unless he's being racist, which is a t an entire possibility. If I say I'm leaving now, he's just going to call the cops, which he might be already doing now. And then uh, they're going to know where I am. And they're going to know where I'm headed. And then Daniel's in trouble. Fuck. You deaf? All right. Oh, I didn't even have the chance. I unpaused and oh, went to go do it. We don't need cops to deal with assholes like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I didn't know. I apologized. I drove for so long. I, I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign. Didn't you see it? No. I was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Move it. Huh. He's gonna see the wires and be like, oh shit. Please, I just want to go. 
Oh, ho. what's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh, yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Well, I lost my keys, and my friend helped me start it. You mean you hotwired it? Holy cow, fucking car thief, too. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it. Let's see what he's holding. Damn. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother. Leave it alone. Chill. No. Chill. Chill the fuck out. Oh, your brother? Where is he now? Well, I'm going to meet him. In a stolen car? More lies. <sighs> okay, Chad. We <laughs> fucked with you. <laughs> no! <laughs> His name's Chad! <laughs> That's top fucking notch. <laughs> All right, Chad, we've done enough here, man. Let's just get our jewels and go home. <laughs> oh shit, that's hilarious. Hey, let him go. Uh, God shit, hold on, my headphones aren't working. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Mike, you speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? Okay, now you're being raised. What? Fuck, that's funny. What, what? Hablas Espanol. No shit. Chad. So, <laughs> Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Oh, you don't want to share your language? <laughs> Bro, give okay. me a minute. Maybe you know this one. Uh, I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> you know what? Soy un sucio ladrón tuerto. I can't say that shit, but it sounds good, Professor Bean. All I want to do is learn Espanol. Might be our official language. I understand he's fucking with me, but I think he's just... I, I think he's harmless. I don't think he's going to do shit. I think he's just going to fuck with me and be like, all right, bye. You would someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Este no es mi país. Say it like you mean it, boy. Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. Pick up all your trash and get the fuck off my land. And don't you come round here again. Ever. I won't. I'm leaving now. Move it, Chad. That sucks. I felt I did not want to cause more trouble, though. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> I hated doing that, man, but it's it's tough. <laughs> you you can't. I've, I've knocked out a cop in a hospital room. What are they going to do with me if I also knocked out two people who I was on their property, I, which I don't even know if that's true, but let's just say I was on their property and I decide I'm going to knock them out. A, we didn't know if they had a weapon. B, that's going to just cause more trouble for me. And C, I could have like mouthed off to him, but if I so did, he might actually understand a little bit and be like, oh, okay, fuck apart. you then. Bah. You know?